Hey everyone, Captain Paladin Elp here. Welcome to another edition of the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we completed the Spirit Temple and freed Naburu from her evil deeds and saved her as she became the sixth and final sage. Now, all that's left to do, after all the temples that are complete, we now go to finish up whatever, pick up the one last Gold Skulltola that we have left. And we go on to seek out Ganondorf. Right now, we'll just go ahead and talk to Saria. She is just saying everything's up to us right now. So... Our job, I think, will be going back to the marketplace. There's really nothing else left to do, folks. I think what we'll go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and complete the 100 gold Skultola quest. So that will require us going to the marketplace one more time. Probably for the last time. And it's been a while since we've been back here, but but we're actually and I'll be coming back out for probably for the last time. This is the last time you'll see the overworld. Cause then in the next episode this is we're not gonna go back to the overworld. So go ahead here. Just pause it for just a moment here. Go ahead and retreat. Go to where we need to get Cross this little river of redeads here to creep everybody out. Go ahead and put our green tunic on because we're going to go do this. Finish this as a true Kokiri. That's how we began, that's how we'll end. Yeah, that is shocking, Link. And here it is. Ganon's castle. Ganon. Ganon's castle. And they were pretty thorough. And how many people they have killed. Skull of a human being right there. Yep. They were quite thorough. But ladies and gentlemen, you see here the clickety clackety. That is our 100th Gold Skulltola. That's it. No more overlays, thank goodness. <laughs> and I must say, those overlays 
really, uh, I think it's part of, probably part of it I dreaded the most, just doing those overlays, because I know that they were, I knew they were necessary, but at the same time, I figured, you know what, I did them because I wanted you to know what order I went through. I really didn't care what order you guys did it, but at the same time, I did it because I wanted to, and... Yeah, you know, it was w worth extra, you know, credit just to do these overlays. You know, one through a hundred, and of course, one through thirty-six through the um heart pieces too. But we are gonna go back to Kakariko Village to claim our prize for the one hundred gold scotillas. I don't think, think we're going to do anything right now as we speak. I'm getting nervous. This is just really nerve-wracking. I don't think it's just Ganondorf. It's just this LP is getting about to be over. And, uh, yeah, we still have the Master Quest to do. And, yes, I mean, we still have the Master Quest. And I'll go back to your grave. But... Yeah, I mean, it's getting close. There's Epina and my horsey. Unfortunately, this will be the final run with you. I'm sorry. I'm gonna cry. No, Epina. No, I mean, it, it's been a nice run. I mean, it really has been a nice run. And this is my very first LP, and I, despite the small base that I've gotten. I'm, I think I feel like I've been blessed with what I've done so far, and we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I know I'm a little bit older than probably most less play less players, but right now we're going to the house of Skultula. This is our last stop in Kakariko Village, and. For, and now, to claim our reward for 100 gold skulltolas, that little freak face, yeah, creep me out. Since you destroyed 100 spiders to, of the curse, the curse on me has been broken. Thank you. Here's a token of my appreciation. Please take it. And as a reward, that's it. 200 rupees. Just 200 rupees. We'll be careful not to get cursed again. Yeah. Be careful not to not mid round. Okay, I had to. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I guess what you could say is an infinite 200 rupee stash that they'll have. So you can come back in anytime you want. And say if you're, you know, fought Ganondorf and need some potions or anything like that, you can go here for your infinite 200. You just gotta leave the house and come back in for another 200. So, it's okay, I guess, but you, uh, you know, that you're not going to run out of money again. But at the same time, it's just, you know, what's well, the point, you know? But, that's it. This is it. How we're going to do this. So, we're going to go ahead and leave here. And we're going to go to Long Long Ranch for the one last time as well. Because we're going to leave. Epida at Long Long Ranch. So that she will be safe. Before my final battle again with Ganondorf. I always do this. For some reason, I always do this every time I be, you know, get to this point in the game. You know, I figure, you know what? Might as well just do it. But, you know, I mean, we're not going to need Epina anymore. I mean, that's what I figure. So, we're here now at Longmon Ranch. And it's looking like we're going to be... Talk to Tata on here. I'm gonna turn over a new leaf and work real, real hard from now on. Oh, that's a good commitment. I wish everyone had that opportunity, not just some of us. 
But up and up. This is where we get off, buddy. Must have been tempted by evil powers, yeah. Well, Epina. Go ahead and come up to screenshot with Epina. I'm sorry, my friend, you can't take I can't take you. I must fight Ganondorf alone. You take care of Malon Talon here, okay? And I leave without my horse. It's kind of sad seeing I do this, but really, I don't know how else to, you know, really. But we'll go ahead and head back to Hyrule Castle. By foot. And as we set off, well, hopefully it'll be daytime, because, you know, how we march into battle, you know, usually around... Oh! We await the dawn, and now it's dawn. Oh, you spoiled the fun. Jeez, you damn po. You spoiled it. I was marching into battle and you had to show up. That burn it, you little pest. <laughs> but now we're here again. We did it. We got ourselves 20 heart containers. 100 gold skulltolas. It's time to square off with them by marching into this castle. At least I think is what we're supposed to do first. Is this supposed to be the area? Okay, what's going on here? It should be a cutscene activating here. Am I not getting something? I'm forgetting something. Why don't you activate? Come on now. Supposed to be a cutscene activated. There's a sages were supposed to be t give me a bridge here. What the hell? Oh, oh! I feel stupid. You heard that head going against my fore uh, hand going against my forehead here. I'm supposed to go to the temple time and I forgot about that. <sighs> Anyone want to tell me why I feel such so humiliated right now? All right. This is going to be a rather large cutscene, so I'm going to end it here cuz we're going to square off with Ganondorf in the next episode. So uh, this is Captain Paladin LP here signing off. I've been waiting for you, Paladin. Paladin, the hero of time. You have overcome many hardships and awakened six sages. And now you have a final challenge, a showdown with Ganondorf, the king of evil. Before that, I have things I want to tell you only to you. Please listen. Another unknown legend of the Triforce passed down by the Shadow Folk, the Shikayas. If you would seek the Sacred Triangle, listen well. The resting place of the Sacred Triangle, the Sacred Realm, is a mirror that reflects what is in the heart. The heart of the one who enters it. If an evil heart, the realm will become full of evils. If pure, the realm will become a paradise. The Triforce, the Sacred Triangle, 
It is a balance that weighs the three forces, power, wisdom, and courage. If the heart of the one who holds the sacred triangle has all three forces in balance, that one will be to gain true force to govern all. But if one's heart is not in balance, the Triforce will separate into three parts. Power, wisdom, and courage. Only one part will remain for the one who touched the Triforce, the part representing the force that one most believes in. If that one seeks the true force, that one must acquire the other two lost parts. Those two parts will be held within others chosen by destiny, who will build a Triforce mark on the backs of their hands. Seven years ago, Ganondorf, the King of Thieves, used the door he opened in the Temple of Time and entered the Sacred Realm. But when he laid his hands on the Triforce, the legend came true. The Triforce separated into three parts. Only the Triforce of Power remained in Ganondorf's hand. The strength of the Triforce of Power enabled him to become a mighty evil king, but his dark ambitions were never satisfied. To gain complete mastery of the world, Ganondorf started looking for those chosen by destiny to hold the, uh, to hold the other two Triforce parts. The one who holds the Triforce of Courage is you, Paladin. And the other who holds the Triforce of Wisdom is the Seventh Sage who is destined to be the leader of them all. Yikes! It is I, the Princess of Hyrule, Zelda. I apologize for meeting you in disguise, but it was necessary to hide from the King of Evil. Please forgive me. On that day, seven years ago, Ganondorf attacked Hyrule Castle. I saw you as I was escaping from the castle with my attendant Impa. I thought I should entrust the ocarina to you. I thought that our that would be our best chance. As long as you had the ocarina in your possession, I thought Ganondorf could never enter the sacred realm. But something I could never expect happened. After you opened the door of time, the Master Sword sealed you away in a sacred realm. Your spirit remained in the sacred realm, and then tri the Triforce fell into Ganondorf's hands. He went in to invade the sacred realm. Ganondorf had become the evil king, and the sacred realm became a world of evil. And all of this is an unfortunate co coincidence. I passed myself as Shikaya, and hoped that you would return. I waited seven years. Yeah, you thought things out, didn't you? And now, you are back. The Dark Age ruled by Ganondorf, the Evil King, will end. The Six Sages will open in a sealed door and lure Ganondorf back into the Sacred Realm. I will then seal the door to the Sacred Realm from this world. Thus Ganondorf, the Evil King, will vanish from Hyrule. 
Paladin. In order to do this, I need your courage again. Please protect me while I do my part. And here's a weapon that can penetrate the evil king's defenses. The power given to the chosen ones. The sacred arrow of light. Got the light arrow. Said to see, and your arrows will be powered up. The light of evil, light of justice, will smite evil. I got it right. <laughs> oh crap! This is impossible. No, no, Zelda, no, Princess Zelda, you foolish traitor. I commend you for avoiding my pursuit for seven long years. But you let your guard down. I knew you would appear if I let this kid wander around. My only mistake was to slightly underestimate the power of this kid. No, it was not the kid's power I misjudged. It was the power of the Triforce of Courage. But with the two Triforces of wis Triforce of Wisdom that Zelda has, I will obtain these two Triforces. Then when I become true ruler of the world... If you want to rescue Zelda, come to my castle. They always say that. <laughs> Alright folks, this will end it here. We know our mission. It is time to topple Ganon's castle. It's Captain Paladin LP signing off once more. Take care everyone. Let's bring this butthole down. <laughs>